Hello and welcome to the second video in establishing your own classroom blog on WordPress.com. Thus far we have set up our account and now we're going to take some time to actually personalize the information just a little bit uh, by editing our profile. And you can begin that by going up in the upper right hand corner up here and actually just mousing over your name, your username and clicking edit my profile and that will bring you to the your public profile page and here we're going to do a, f a few different things one you can fill in some basic information um, actually as much information as you want um, I'm going to skip location you may want to put about you and I'll let you fill in however much of this you would like to or that you use um, I I'm fairly moderate in that sense I guess I don't have my home phone number on my blogs um, but I have some other information like my emails and things like that so you can fill in uh, whatever personal information you desire and then it's good to personalize a little bit with a picture uh, it, it the best is actually to have a picture of yourself um, by clicking on that logo on the side and you can either use your webcam to take a picture of yourself, give a link to an online picture. I'm going to go ahead and pull one off my computer. Uh, and the Gravatar, that's just the system they use to get the images. Excuse me. Okay. And I'm going to browse right off my computer. Now, normally I would take uh, a picture that I have, but I don't have any on this computer. So today I will uh, just be some penguins, I guess. Uh, normally I like to have a picture of my face. It personalizes it. My students recognize it as me. Um, and it, you know, I think it's just a better way to present yourself online. Okay, once we have that, I'm going to click Next. Then I have my picture and it will process it. And I can actually edit this and choose how I want it to be. That looks just fine to me. And I'll crop it just like that and hit crop and finish here at the bottom there is a rating if you had to hopefully if you're doing this for school it will be G rated I would hope uh, and that now has our picture all set and all I actually have to do is X out of excuse me X out of here and you'll notice it didn't come up it may not appear immediately by the next time you go online, your uh, profile picture will probably be there. And that's it for editing your profile and adding a picture. Hopefully you're getting the, the feel of this right now. You can see there's a lot of different tools that we can work with, and we will do that in a future video. All right, that's it for now. Thank you very much.